all electric, high performance and efficient. This is a new Mission R. This concept embodies everything that Porsche, what it is, performance, design and sustainability. The electric all-wheel drive system has more than 100,000 horsepower. It drives the Mission R to a top speed of more than 300 kilometers per hour for around 30 minutes of racing. It features familiar Porsche Motorsport design elements. At the same time, it's truly pioneering. My personal design highlight of this car is a crystal clear roof with an exoskeleton made of carbon fiber composites. In terms of sustainability, we have been very mindful of our use of resources with the Mission R. We've used cutting edge natural fibers inside and out. And the two highly efficient electric motors were engineered in Weissach and produced in Zuffenhausen. The Mission R is our progressive racing lab for the motorsport of the future. Motorsport has always been the benchmark for us. It offers the toughest testing ground. You can say that we have been pretty successful over the years with more than 20 world championships titles and 19 overall wins at Le Mans. At the same time, we have developed some major innovations on the racetrack and brought them into serious production. It's a long list, but includes the turbocharger, adaptive aerodynamics, the dual clutch transmission and smart energy management. A game changer for electric mobility has been our 800 volt technology, which enables ultra fast charging. It helped us to win Le Mans three times in a row. We then brought it to the road with a Taycan. Now we are setting a new industry standard with it. The Mission R takes the technology even a step further. Its electric system works at more than 900 volts. The technology and design of the Mission R are new, but the philosophy behind it's pure Porsche. Our goal is always to offer the sportiest and most innovative car in each of our market segments. And with Mission R, we are opening up a completely new field for us. This racing car is our vision of all electric customer motorsport. Ladies and gentlemen, the motorsport of the future will be more electric, more digital and more connected. And it must become more sustainable. The Mission R is designed exactly for this exciting future. Concept cars and show cars for designers are the most exciting projects because you have much more freedom. But on the other hand, we have a long track record that the concepts and show cars have always a very high degree of, uh, I would say, feasibility. They are show cars, but they are very close to reality. Look at this powerful beauty. It's now time to welcome Michael Mauer. Michael, Oliver has just been telling us that motorsport is a great testing ground. I mean, for you as a designer, it must be quite exciting here, isn't it? It's always exciting to design a car, especially a concept car, but a Porsche as well for us, it's very important that it looks like a Porsche, that uh, you have all the functionality and that you have this ergonomics uh, that is right. So this fit for purpose. And therefore as well, we worked very closely together with our colleagues from the motorsport department. And the result is impressive, I think. Nevertheless, plenty of concepts have been presented with much fanfare and then never heard of again. Could that happen here too? No, we are, I mean, we are talking about Porsche. So <laughs> this never happens at Porsche. If you just think about the 918 uh, hybrid uh, Spider concept, the Mission E, which then turned into the Taycan. So um, our concepts have always a very close relation to uh, production cars. And if you talk about customer racing cars, they are always based uh, on a production car. So I would say 
Stay tuned and you will see how some of the design elements will find their way into production cars. Yeah, let's talk about it. The focus on the needs of the drivers is something that sets Porsche apart. So what exactly happened here in the Mission R? I mean, still, um, you could say, in a racing car, the driver plays a pretty important role. So what we try to do is uh, uh, create a perfect working environment for the, for the driver. So all the controls displays are perfectly arranged around the driver. We have this special structure in the roof, which uh, fulfills all the safety regu uh, regulations and still gives a completely new impression of the space in the interior. And some little details like the drying system for the helmet of the driver. This is a very good idea. I think as anyone who's ever finished a race uh, dripping with sweat will know. But what about the people the other side of the pit wall? How does this car give them what they need? Yeah, I mean, uh, we incorporated as well as we call it some intelligent systems. For example, the display on the column um, is a kind of rear view mirror and uh, integrated as well kind of collision warning system. So it gives as well more information to the driver. That's Perfect. I think this really does sound like the future. Thank you, Michael. Yes, I got to drive this prototype already. The power, the acceleration and the cornering speed just felt amazing. This Porsche really makes your heart beat faster. Porsche takes electric drive to a whole new level here. The result is a motorsport experience without any compromises. And now Timo Bernhardt is with me on stage, two times Le Mans winner. Nice to have you here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> and Timo, you've been one of the test drivers of the new prototype, so please tell us, how does it feel like to race the, this one on a real racetrack? Well, you can't describe it in one word. I mean, it's, it's just amazing to drive the, the instant power release of the two electric motors um, combined with all-wheel drive and a thousand horsepower in qualifying mode. I mean, these are values I've only experienced in driving the 919 hybrid, and that's our Le Mans winning car. And here we're talking about a vision for a customer car of the future. It sounds like an amazing experience. And since it's a racing car, you've been working closely together with uh, the developers and yeah. the designers. How did this combination work? Absolutely. I mean, Porsche's test driver Lars Kern and myself have been amongst the first driver taking part in the development process of the Mission R. And this close cooperation between development team and driver has a long history at Porsche. And you do things like such as uh, steering wheel layout buttons, which is seating position, driver ergonomics, and certainly feedback on track, how the car handles. I'm sure this has, must have been a lot of work, but also a lot of fun. Yes. But Timo, be honest, electric motors, do they offer the same thrills as a fire-breathing combustion engine, really? They definitely do. Racing in electric cars is a whole new world. And, but it's not about doing just one thing or the other. For me, it's both. And I can understand there are certain reservations about electric mobility, especially in motorsport. But we've seen just how much emotions, performance and character Porsche's first all-electric model, the Taycan, brought and generated. And I think the Mission R can bring that to motorsport. And I love the design. Look, I mean, it looks so fast just standing here yeah. and sitting here. And it's a car to really look forward to. It's really exciting. That's true. Thank you, Timo. Thank you. And now back to you, Oliver Blume. It has always been extremely important to have the courage to try new things. With the Mission R, our vision of the electric motorsport of the future is becoming reality. However, there can be no vision without an outstanding team to bring it to life. At this point, I'd like to give huge credit to our brilliant colleagues in Weissach and Flacht, and indeed the entire Porsche family who came up with the idea of the Mission R. 
This car combines Porsche's stunning design with our innovative drive technology. And with that, we are taking an important step towards greater sustainability in motorsport. At Porsche, we are mindful of our responsibility for future gener generations. And sustainability is deeply rooted in our corporate strategy. We want to be carbon neutral by 2030, a goal that is unmatched in the automotive industry. We are investing more than a billion euros in our decarbonization program over the next 10 years in wind power, solar energy and other measures to face climate change. And we are investing in our cars, especially in battery production. The Taycan's high-performance cells are already produced using renewable energy. Our suppliers are committed to this. And we are taking things a step further. The battery cell is a combustion chamber of tomorrow. That's why we want to be at the forefront of the development of high-performance batteries. Together with our new joint venture partner, Custom Cells, we will be starting production as early as 2024. This is how we link sustainability with a real feeling of driving a Porsche. And where else would we test this high-performance technology but in motorsport? Ladies and gentlemen, dear customers and fans, at Porsche, we stand by our principles. We are an exclusive premium brand. We keep growing, but sustainably. We will always build highly emotive products at the very best quality. We stick to our business model of balanced supply and demand. We see sustainability as a big opportunity for our brand. And our customers will always have the highest priority. Ultimately, it's always about our customers. In case of the Mission R, about the customer racing teams. Our passion our sporting mindset and our team spirit are all for you. We developed the Mission R for you. Thank you, Oliver. <laughs> so, Patrick, now I want to know, what is your impression of the new Mission R? Well, I love the car. I can't wait to <laughs> test it, number one, and get a chance to do what you did. And I, there's so many wonderful ideas in this, like the cage, and certainly the, the, the wing is fantastic. And the silhouette, you see the DNA and the evolution, and uh, it's exciting. I'm really looking forward to the future. So you want to give it a try? I Absolutely, think. yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, Patrick, Timo, Michael and Oliver. Thank you all out there for joining us today. You get further information at the Porsche newsroom. Take care and goodbye. <laughs>